Oh, you did. We should. You know what we should do is we should put this on our, put this on our social deadlines or social outlets today. So HR six one two six. We're live. To end cool. the long transfer time pressers. All for that. Yeah. And it's easy. Yeah, I just did. It's pretty it. cool. Can you do it multiple times? Can you enter your name multiple times to send to your representative? I don't know. I guess just try, right? My my computer's yeah. about to make some noise, everybody. Um, I apologize. We're trying to deal with being remote and all this stuff. And I'm firing up the right. old YouTube to take a look at what you're saying. And welcome. About to make some noise, everybody. All right. Um, make this shut up. Come on, man. Um, my amateur hour here. Look, we're, we're just trying to make this thing work here, all right? You're lucky I'm not driving all try of this to... behind me. All right, so today, Ryan is going to monitor YouTube comments. I'm sitting over on Facebook, so I can do it from my phone, and we've got a nice camera. And we're quarantining ourselves. We're getting as far away from each other as possible. Got to do it. So uh, we ready to officially start how this it thing. Is. Let everybody's in, find you a seat. I don't All know. Right. Um, we've, got, we've got Michael behind the scenes in this place. Are we ready? You can't, Michael can't give us the thumbs up. Give us the audio thumbs up, Michael. <laughs> We're live. We're live. All right. Hey. Cool. Welcome. All right. Everybody. Welcome. Yeah, welcome to Gun Talk Live. Uh, today's Gun Talk Live is brought to you by Colt, still making history. So um, obviously we are doing this in a different way today because we're social distancing, we're quarantining, and we're drinking quarantinis, I think, maybe later. Um, what, is that so a <laughs> it's a thing now, quarantinis, yeah. <laughs> is it really? Um, so welcome in. This is I'm, I'm at the, uh, the basement bar uh, at the house. KJ's still at the studio. Um, we figure if anybody's going to get here. this, we should let him get it. Yeah. yeah. I've got a, I mean, I've drank enough alcohol over the years that I feel like my tolerance is pretty much there. <laughs> so we got some people chiming in. World class. Uh, says, I have a Smith & Wesson 642, best gun in the world, Jack 6, Jack 7, how's y'all's day been? Shane, um, can't find any ammo here in Virginia. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about ammo here in a minute. Um, but <laughs> that's going to be a hot but topic. First off, KJ's got the goods, and we've got a winner for our giveaway, right? Yeah, so last week, we were giving away the Tyrant Designs uh, AR uh, grip. So we've got it. If I can figure out how to open the box, um, all my dexterity is lost from the uh, beer bug. Uh, but anyway, it's awesome. Uh, but uh, Scott Peskin, you won. And a lot of you, if you are. Um, if you are a fan of FPD, if you're a fan, Scott, you know Scott Peskin. Uh, but anyway, this is what he won. I'm going to show it up here. This is a Tyrant Designs uh, AR grip. But so if yeah. you go to the Skeleton. newsletter today, it's skeletonized. It looks good. But if you go to the newsletter today, um, I included a special pro uh, project that Tyrant Designs worked on. And it's a magazine extension for your G43X and G48. So they came out with some cool stuff. So I've been running their uh, Tyrant Designs magazine extension on my G19, and I absolutely love it. So get in there, look at the newsletter. Congratulations, Scott. This week, if you enter, you're going to win a Vault LED tape. A Magnum magnet from Lockdown and a Lockdown cordless 25 LED bulk light. So this is your prize pack for this week. Check it out. 
Those are great, man. You, you know, you put them in your gun safe, you put them in your gun closet. And if you're like most of us, um, the gun safe is never big enough. It's packed to the brim. And having an extra light lets you see in there and see what in the world do I have in there. Find that gun that's in the back that you haven't shot in a while. And the little magnet deal, those are some strong magnets and uh, handy to mount wherever you want. The They're strong. Um, we've talked about it before. Uh, magnets are kind of a big thing right now. Um, and this is the Magnum one. So this is the larger version. It'll hold guns. Uh, but we've talked about these on uh, use in gun uh, in trucks. Um, not, man, I'm not going to do it. But man, for outside of the uh, gun safe, why not, man? Just lean a gun up there. It's not going to fall over. I love it. Yeah, that's the big magnet, right? Yeah, that's the Magnum. That's that 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 Joker the right there. Okay, so that's, that's on the long a guns. big one. You know, one interesting way. You know, you still need to keep guns out of the hands of people who shouldn't get them. You know, just thinking specifically at your house. Um, you know, if you have kids or even just any guests coming over, you don't want people to just walk in and be able to pick up guns. I know a lot of viewers like to stash guns around the house and that type of thing. Um, you know, if you have kids of really honestly any age, you really just can't leave loaded guns hidden because kids can find stuff. But I, I did hear about an interesting way, and you could use the magnet on this, I think, is if you have a master bedroom and you've got your closet there, and it's, maybe it's a walk-in closet. If you walk into the closet, and then you turn around and look above the doorway. That's a spot that's really tucked up out of the way. Oh, yeah. And if you uh, if you don't have kids coming over your house and all that stuff, could be a place to mount a magnet. It's a it's really it's not totally locked up. So you I mean you can't leave a loaded gun just sitting there. Kids can get on chairs, and I know probably most of us who think back when we were nine, ten, eleven, twelve, we could get into some stuff. <laughs> But, you know, yeah. it's just an idea of a, of a way to mount that. Yeah. I, I've, you know, I've uh, talked with some ex-law enforcement guys, and that's one of their favorite places to hide them is right above those doorways as you enter. Because a lot of guys, you know, if they're looking for stuff, they're looking like this. They don't look like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's just an idea. Um, it's not perfect, but it's, it's one of the options, right? Um, man, on YouTube, yeah. they're – Talking about finding ammo, um, looking for 45.9. Lots of 22, but 45.9 are out. Um, let's see. Local What's wrong with 42. This guy says, "Well, we have a we have some uh, something to say about that, right?" This uh, space in Bater says my gun store sold 55,000 rounds in three days. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, it, let's it talk really about is. ammo. Let's talk about gun sales and what's going on right now. Um, it's pretty wild. Okay. Everybody's very big. Um, I've been having conversations all week and last week with manufacturers out there. They're all reporting being very busy. And most of them are still up and running and, and making guns, making ammo. They're trying to crank it out for you. Um, a few people have been have with all this stuff going on have had to reduce or shut down. Like for instance, Kimber is a company where their headquarters are actually just outside of New York City um, in Yonkers, I believe. And they were ordered by the governor that they had to shut down. And uh, so they're not making guns right now. I mean, they had a few more weeks worth of stuff, and they have another location in Alabama that's assembling everything. But um, yeah, I mean, they're for all intents and purposes, they're not making guns for the time being. I know Remington, they have several different locations. Their Alabama location is, everybody's going to work, everybody's cranking. Um, their Illion, uh, New York location, again, New York being kind of the epicenter right now, um, they're shut down. They, I think they've got like a million square feet and they offered to the governor um, that they would start working on other things like trying to build respirators or whatever because ultimately they're a manufacturer and they know how to do that. So um, 
What are you guys seeing, KJ? What are you hearing out there? It, it, it's it's tough out there. Now, if you guys keep up with Hornady online, they're really, you know, they're kind of at the forefront. You know, they're, Steve Hornady is down producing ammo right now. Jason Hornady is out producing ammo. Those guys are on the front lines. They are actually going in and working to keep that operation running. And, and Jason Hornady actually sent out a message yesterday over Hornady's Facebook page that addressed the price gouging, which I thought was actually a really interesting message because you want to hear from these manufacturers. And he said, I mean, his message was point blank. We are not changing our prices. That is not on us. It's the retailer. That where That's where those price increases come from. It's not from these manufacturers. I guarantee you, I know the guys at Federal. I know the guys at Hornady. Those guys are not behind this. And I know we want to point the finger somewhere, but eventually, it's got, people are going to make money during this time. I mean, you know, and if you haven't stocked up before, because we saw this once before, right, Ryan? We saw this happen. Yeah. Yeah, we have. We've seen it. We've gone through it. And, uh, you know, it's just like anything. We're, I think our audience, we try to emphasize being prepared. That means having plenty of water, having some extra dry food, and, yeah, having your guns and ammo and all that stuff. I think what we're seeing on the, on the gun side of things is the people who are running out and buying guns right now are not the gun enthusiasts who are watchers of, of Gun Talk Live all the time. You guys have, a, you have handguns, you have rifles, you have all this stuff probably. What you're really seeing is a lot of new gun buyers out there. And actually was hearing from a big retailer in Arizona yesterday, and he says literally people walking in and they know nothing about guns. This is not their interest. Now, we, I think what we should try to do as a gun community is help these people. You know, I don't mind people going out and buying their first gun. They feel a little nervous about what's going on. They want to be prepared. Cool. You know, if you're the gun guy of your friends and you're getting calls, try to be helpful to them. Try to give them good advice. Try to help them be safe with it. And, uh, you know, that's, because ultimately what could happen in the long term what could happen is we end up getting more gun owners and more people who are on our side on the gun issue. I think you only, I think you only start the conversation and I think you really only uh, begin to express like, and to begin to help those people out only after you say, I told you so. <laughs> you want to get that in? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you know, hey, try to be uh, helpful. Kim Beck. Um, go ahead. Uh, Kim Beckwith actually says, "Look at Zero Ammunition Inc. out of Coleman, Alabama." Um, great tip there. Um, and if you guys have any other spots, you know, within the newsletter and stuff like that, when I put in an ammo deal, I go to a bunch of different spots to try to find that stuff. Um, and that's the only way we're going to help each other out, find stuff. Um, but uh, we've got, you know, we've got uh, Cliff. He says the gun industry is one of the worst with price gouging. They look, they like to claim they love us gun owners, but then jack the hell out of prices every chance they get. Which I, I, I don't necessarily agree with that statement. I, I, I think, you know, it's the retailers have to be held accountable at some point. Big time. The retailers have to be held accountable. Um, I mean, pr prices do vary um, with ammo because, you know, you are using copper and lead and there's, there's you know, those types of um, prices on those materials that change, brass, those types of things. But what's happening right now um, is I think from what I've heard, there are these cases of um, jacking the price up. But for the most part, most people are not. They're just selling out of everything they're selling. Now, um, you have you have the bad offenders. Um, one of them that they're doing it again, cheaper than dirt. Cheaper than dirt, uh, several years back when it was a run on high capacity magazines, they were selling PMAGs, your regular AR-15 magazine that is normally, I don't know, like, like 15 bucks or so. They were selling them for $100. And... You know, you say that that probably is gouging, um, but I guess it's, you know, you don't have to buy it if you don't want to. 
Um, you know, I'm I'm kind of lean on the whole supply and demand thing. If you want to jack up your ammo to be ten times what it normally costs, um, then don't buy it, and then they won't sell any at that price. You know, I I and we've been working on it for years. Look, ammo is really not that expensive right now. It's available. Please buy it. Go buy more. Yeah. Uh, and Kim does bring a good point. He, I'm not familiar with Zero, but Brownells, you know, Brownells, they haven't price gouged. Like, that's one site that I go to, and they're always sold out. There's a reason, because they're cheap prices. And I, and I think the retailers that are you're seeing always sold out of ammo. That's because they aren't price gouging. Um, and you're going to have some that do, some that don't, just like Cheaper Than Dirt's doing right now. Um, but, you know, on one website, four weeks ago, I go on and a thousand rounds of nine millimeters going for 199 bucks. Now it's over, yeah. you know, 450. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. And, you know, we're also seeing the consequences of certain laws out there. So I think everybody knows that California does have very strict gun laws. Um, you know, the 10-day waiting period. How's that working for you now? And all these people who are going in there going, but I need a gun today. I'm worried today. I'm going, well, you can wait 10 days. Also, no. California just passed the, or has had this in, in place for a little while now, is you can't buy ammo online and have it shipped to your house. How's that working for you right now? So, you know, if you're in California and you say, I can't leave my jobs here, my family's here, all that, that's cool. I understand. But you better get involved. You better speak up, and maybe the powers that be and the and the the other side who didn't really give a crap about these laws and didn't understand why it mattered. Maybe now they'll go, "Oh, now I see why this does matter." Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's 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 a weird time. We're in a weird time in our our fight for our rights and our fight for our gun rights because now we're starting to see a lot more. I think a lot of folks' eyes are starting to open up as to, you know, why things are the way they should be, you know? I mean, but it's just strange times, man. And, hey, guys, don't forget, if you guys enter, which by enter I mean leave a comment, um, you're going to be entered in this lockdown package here uh, of a light, a magnum magnet, and a set of rope lights. So don't forget to enter to win. Yep. So we were kind of talking the other day about um, holsters and little holster talk. And you, the issue came up about universal holsters. Basically, a holster, that's right, that fits a lot of different guns. Um, you know, you have your, your custom molded stuff. This is kind of a simple one. Custom molded stuff that um, this is for an XDM yeah. and it fits the gun. Although, this is not so perfect that it wouldn't work for a lot of probably several different size uh, semi-autos of that nature. Um, I think this is a Bravo concealment one. But, um, you know, people will say, I want the holster for this gun, which is normally, yes, that's good. But as far as options go, uh, KJ, what do you have there? And let's talk about the universal holsters. So the universal holster I've got here is a DeSantis variable 87. Um, there's, there's a lot to like about universal holsters, whether you're running out to the local, you know, gas station or just running a quick trip down to the road to Walmart, you know, whatever you're doing, uh, it's easily, you know, it's, and I think that's why people like them because they're easy. They fit a wide range of guns. Like this one, this variable 87, it's, you know, guns the same size as like a G19. Um, and, you know, the sweat guard that comes up, it's it's pliable, so it's not as rigid as, you know, your Kydex uh, or your uh, polymer, you know, made, you know, form-fitted holsters. Um, but the Variable 87, I think it's one of the better ones out there for me. Uh, I, I actually do enjoy it. Uh, I worried about the tension on the belt strap here, the belt uh, hook, but it's heavy duty. It's nice and it's tuckable too. So, but you see here. Well, and I think what it does is when you talk about uh, 
is is a universal holster the perfect thing? Probably not. Um, if you're carrying one or two different guns in your regular carry, you know, you want to have a holster for that gun. It fits, it's fairly secure, mm. all that stuff. But having a universal holster or two gives you some options in ways to carry. And frankly, you know, like now, you know, you have, if you get a gun or someone is given a gun or whatever, you have a holster that'll work for a lot of different types of guns in that size range. So it just, now you don't have to go, oh, I need a holster for this gun. If you have a universal holster or two, um, it gives you some options and some ways to carry it. I actually brought one out that's fairly universal. This is actually a recluse holster that I've got a little Ruger LCP in it. And it works for um, a lot. They have kind of different ones, but this works for several different guns, the kel and the ones of that size and that, and that framework. And this is kind of neat because it's actually a pocket holster. It can go in your back pocket, kind of look like a wallet. It can go in your front pocket. They have different variations of it. Um, but it's called Recluse. And then it has this little rubber part. I don't know if you guys can see that it basically guards the trigger. So the trigger can't be um, moved or, 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 you know, uh, pulled, basically. So that's, that's one that I kind of like. That's just an easy one. Um, stick in your pocket and go. Yeah, that, that uh, Falco holsters. Uh, Serdan Barut uh, uh, mentioned those for his XDM. Um, so these aren't just for small guns. I mean, they make you know universal holsters for a wide range. Um, and I think one of the great benefits of having a universal holster is you don't dress the same every day. I mean, there's going to be times when you're out in the lawn, you're working around, you're mowing the lawn, and you do not you you're moving around, so you don't want something that's that's not going to give a little, you know? Right, absolutely. Um, so real quick, uh, gotta pay the bills. Uh, this gun talk live is also brought to you by Ruger, and we can actually just talk about this. So we've been out to the range with a bunch of Ruger products lately. Ruger PC Charger 9mm pistol was released this week. Super cool. Uh, check the description uh, or check the video that we put out there. Um, we've got a video on the Ruger PC Charger. We're all big fans. Um, it's, it's neat. You, we put it in a backpack that was like, I don't know. It wasn't even a backpack. It's, it's tiny. It folds hey, down Brian, I'm going to tell you that is where that gun is going to stay. I'm sorry. Um, is ownership's like 90% of the law? Yeah. Possession. I think that's sure. Um, yeah. And also the Ruger 5.7. If you guys have not shot the Ruger 5.7 yet, you got to try it out. It has a really nice trigger. We were messing with it yesterday. I mean, I'm rapid firing at this target, and it just doesn't move, but it packs a punch. So, you know, they're doing all of that. They've got their Ruger rifles that are um, the precision rifles, kind of change the game as far as affordable precision rifles go. Um, check out Ruger.com to find out more, and then also Sig Sauer. I think you've probably heard of them. Sig Sauer, looking for a carry gun, price, capacity, uh, striker fired or double action. It's hard to choose. Sig Sauer makes the decision easier from full size to compact. There is a Sig Sauer pistol for you. Uh, P365, the P320s, and uh, they're, they're integrating it with their optics now too, all the red dots, their red dot revolution, but you can what? go to SigSauer.com right. and find out more there. I yeah. am. I have been waiting. I so I when that when Shot Show came around and Six Hour, you know, launched their wide range of products. They have so much to offer. But when they launched the 365 XL with Romeo Zero, and then a P320 with a Romeo on it, I'm like, yes, send those to me. <laughs> and so I'm like this the right. shutdown and, yeah. and you know the beer bug and what all we got going on. I'm waiting for those. Like they should be in the mail. Yeah, <laughs> but they're not. It's killing yeah. me. Yeah, you know, and and, and that's the other thing is because everything is being bought up. A lot of these manufacturers change what they're doing and adjust. For instance, one manufacturer that is big into long guns that I was talking to, they're not. They've kind of switched over a little bit. They're not building as many bolt action rifles right now, and they're building more of their shotguns, tax shotgun kind of stuff. 
because that's what people are buying. But um, most of these guys have learned they can't ramp up so much because this could be over in 30 days and then everything, the sales go back to normal. So uh, G Kip says, I have the omnivore. I guess it eats everything. It's an omnivore. Holder. Nice. That's, that's, yeah, that's a good name. That's clever. Uh, the uh, Kim Beckwith has a 320 uh, with a Bruce Gray trigger. Says it's awesome. Bruce Gray trigger job. It's awesome. Uh, and Mike Holland, she says, got any McAllen 12 year on that shelf behind you? Uh, I think I've got, I do have some McAllen back there, I think. Oh, I've got some Glenn Levitt. That's what I got. I got Glenn Levitt. And I, I got, no. I'm not as much of a Scotch guy or I'm more of a bourbon guy, but I'm honestly a fan of all of it. Uh, it just depends on the mood. But we've got a little bit of everything. We've got some Mezcal. We've got a little bit of everything here. Depends on the mood. We're getting warmer weather. I feel like warmer weather is like tequila weather. You know, some lime. Well, you're good to go. <laughs> no, not no on the tequila. That's uh, in that the uh, the song. It's a sipper. It's a sipper. It's not a. It's not shots necessarily. I'm not. I'm not. You know, drinking with Lincoln in, in at college here. Um, David Jackson says thoughts on Lucky Gunner ammo sales. Gunner, yep, they've been at it for a while. They've, but I'm sure you got to pick through to figure out what they have. Yep. Uh, hey Ryan, I do want to say one thing, and I, I meant to say it on the front of the hour, or however long we've been on. But I wanted to say one of us is working in the office, and one of us is working from home. So I want the viewers to decide. Yeah. Who's not wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> but the important note is you're the only one at the office. Everybody else is working remote. I think there's there's something with KJ so wants next? to be at the office. The wife and kids are going to interrupt you or, or whatever. He's like, no, no, I got to go to the office. And he hasn't even told his wife yet that he's allowed to work from home probably. <laughs> yeah. Ver, uh, so Steve has a Versa carry for his shield and little LC9. See, you get back to this universal holster question, and a lot of guys will poo poo. Um, but I, I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You know, I can actually, and I met a lot of guys were like this. It's when I didn't know anything and I bought my first handgun. What What do you think the odds are? What do you think the holster I bought was? I think it was a Serpa. Oh, that's close. It's close, but no, it was an Uncle Mike's because I was like, well, I'm going to carry it all the time in the field and the hunting. And I yeah. found out real quick that didn't work. It, it just did not work. Yeah. So that's the thing. When you talk about universal holsters, um, one of the things you got to be mindful of is does it still do the job of what a holster is supposed to do? One of it, one of the things is carry the gun securely. Another thing is right. keep the gun going off in your pants or wherever you're carrying it. And um, there are certain universal holsters. Someone mentioned a VersaCarry. Now VersaCarry has the universal uh, squishy leather holsters, but they, they also, I don't know if they still do, they had one that was just like a stick. And yeah. the trigger wasn't completely covered up so there's a concern there that you could snag the trigger on your clothing or somehow get your finger in there and you don't want to have the gun go off as you're putting the gun on or taking the gun out so just just always keep that in mind on the universal holster stuff that the trigger is covered up and you can't possibly pull the trigger by accident or or snag it onto the clothing or something like that right and I like the I like the sticky holsters. The sticky holsters makes a great holster. I mean, it's they're great stuff. It's yeah. great stuff. I mean, there's there's a lot of good manufacturers of universal holsters that I I don't think people should should discount them so quickly. Uh, Victor says the the Nate two tactical holster, which actually is part of the crossbreed holster family now. So yeah, Nate two is an an option um, that they make a bunch of different stuff and. Uh, I know they're cranking. They're making these this stuff, and so all these new gun buyers, new, uh, new gun owners that are carrying around, 
Get a good holster. Don't just stick it in your pocket. <laughs> um, so, you know, perfect. one last thing on, I'm kind of wrapping it up. So tell them again, if they comment, they're entered to win what? They're going to get a, all from lockdown. Lockdown and the pucks are coming very soon. I know you guys are waiting for them, but they're coming very soon. But you get some a vault LED tape light. You get a magnum uh, magnet. And you get two, look at that, LED lights. So they're cordless, chargeable, whatever. You just press them. They light up your life. So that's what they get. Um, and those will be shipped out next week. We'll announce the winner here. Uh, we'll do another live next week. But uh, you got to stay tuned. And don't forget, guys, Gun Talk Nation has launched. We are doing Gun Talk Nation. And I saw Mr. Paul Markle sitting in there uh, listening to this and watching this broadcast. So maybe we could get Paul on our Gun Talk Nation podcast. I'd love to. I'd love to. Yeah, we need to get Paul up lined up for some Gun Talk Nation podcasting. But yeah, for all of our podcast stuff, um, wherever you listen to, however you listen to podcasts, you can probably find us on Apple, on uh, Stitcher app, on whatever podcast, podcaster thing you do. Um, look us up there. Also sign up for the newsletter. We're sending out good content. We're also sending out deals. There was a deal uh, email that went out today about magazines, and mag extensions. So KJ's looking for that stuff all the time on the Gun Dealio smartphone app. Gun, gun, download the Gun Dealio smartphone app. Jamie in our office is scouring the web for deals and what's out there. So ammo, guns, all that stuff. Yeah. Huh. But that's it. That's Gary, all I got. Gary, I don't have anything else. Office. I'm going to try to stay. Oh. Garnett says, you guys light up my life. So there you go. <laughs> I think our audience is the best audience in the, in the world of gun youtuber and uh, and Facebook. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. So keep the comments rolling. You guys keep um, you know, debating this stuff. And we'll be back with more of this nonsense next week. Be able to be safe out there. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.